It's our celebration of women in property and we're here at the Women in Property event in London and I'm now joined by Toyin. And Toyin, welcome. Um, what first attracted you to property? Um, I think I've always been one of those. I remember um, when I was about um, 12 years old, I just loved property. But then it was just one of those things you forgot about. And um, when I had my second daughter, I actually was thinking of how I could be flexible because my first daughter was going to start school. And then I stumbled on watching Oms Under the Emma. I've always loved watching the property shows. And Oms Under the Emma throughout my maternity leave sort of inspired me to get into property. And I thought, you know what, how better way to get, get, keep working, keep earning money whilst I still sort of do my passion. And that's how I um, got into property, the flexible lifestyle, yeah. Fantastic. Tell us a little bit about what you've been doing in property. So and we started off with flips, funny enough, the very first um, auction pro um, property we bought, we bought an auction. I was obviously um, I get, getting inspiration from Omsa and Daddy Hammer. So basically I've been doing, I started off with um, flips, um, moved on into um, keeping the properties and um, uh, then now we've also started doing commercial to residential conversions, which has obviously been very, very profitable. Um, we co currently con converting a, an HMO, um, a, property, a commercial property which we bought, uh, con converting to an HMO. And then it's pretty much back into the same single letters well, adding into the portfolio, selling on good deals and yeah, pretty much around it, yeah. Fantastic. I mean, you mentioned that you're a mum. Um, it must be, I think, one of the things that attracts women to property is that flexibility that you can work, um, you know, when you want and work your hours around childcare, essentially. Um, has that been one of the best things about it for you? It is absolutely good. I mean, my daughter has been able to get more um, training time and she plays tennis. She's seven, she's six years old, but she, she's got more training time because obviously I'm available to take her for training to, to play tennis with her. I'm available to take my, my kids for their classes, which I wouldn't have had if I was working in the city because when I was working in the city, my kids used to be in nursery. And then if I had any call, it was going to be about an hour and a half to get back home because I live in Essex. I used to work in London. But f f property has solved all of that and I'm so great I found it because it is beautiful. Yeah. I mean, obviously you've got a partner, but do you believe that women, regardless of whether they're in a relationship or marriage, should seek their own financial independence? Because you don't really know what life is going to throw at you, do you? I've always been a fan of being able to stand on your own feet. Yes. Uh, yes, yes. There's no reason why you should rely on um, a husband. I have a lot of friends who are stay-at-home moms, but they still bring some sort of value. I mean, they could be the financial um, bookkeeper, for example, but there is more and more needs for you to actually be able to stand on your own feet, bring, bring, bring more value into that home, increase the earning power of the home. It is, there is more than enough reasons for you to do it, yeah. And Very I, true. Yeah. What sort of qualities do you think women bring to property? Because we, we're good at multitasking, aren't we? We are good at multitasking and we have more attention to detail. And I believe we, we bring the um, emotional side. We can sort of um, empathize with the tenants more. We connect with them more. We, we, we went connect, connect them more. I connect with the builders much more than my husband would do. I connect with the tenants. It's, and it brings that extra detail, extra value which you'd get. And I, I think, yeah, more and more women should come in. I think we're having more women coming in now um, I, I'm, I'll hope to see that that increases going forward and that no recession will take us back but I mean yeah I think it's, it's been good so far I've seen more women I mean an event like this you would you're happy to come to I go to other networking events and coming here is quite inspiring seeing what other women achieve and seeing what you can do I'm so glad yeah Excellent. So just to finish, what would be your number one tip um, for women watching this? Um, I mean, obviously, I think it, we should always reiterate that property is a long, you know, a long term game. Is that your view? Yeah, I think it's, it's, it's not a money quick game at all. It's yeah. something you should be in for a long term, for a sustainable income, the, the capital growth. If you're going to go into property for just the short term, then it's not for you. It's a long term thing. It's something that can be passed on to your, your yeah. children. It's, it's it's pretty much what it is. It is obviously a lot of people makes property look very simple and it's really nothing. But that's not the truth. There is work to do it, and that's why everyone is knowing it. But I think um, there is um, there's much more than you can see. Get yourself educated, take action, and get moving. Well, I have to say, you've given us some brilliant advice. You've got your feet firmly on the ground, and thank you very much for sharing your insights. Thank you.